Scenes like Thursday's large meth bust are not common in Russellville, but residents are fearful that it could happen again. With everything going around, you know, you hear it all over the place, like Columbia and other stuff like that. Sometimes you don't, you don't expect it in a small town. Mike Wicker says it's frustrating that if there's an emergency, there's no deputy devoted solely to Russellville, a concern shared by others. Everybody thinks, you know, being a small town, Russellville is pretty known. That we were known for a drug problem, but, you know, I think that since they've seen this, you know, they're, they still think it's around. Like in the yellow cities, we just slide by, don't worry about it. That's the attitude they got in this town. The Cole County Sheriff's Office says they did have a contract with Russellville to have a full-time deputy there, but the city can no longer afford to pay. Still, residents hope they can find a compromise with the Sheriff's Office. We don't really necessarily have to have a full-time cop, just somebody who makes rounds through here, you know, on a weekly to maybe daily basis, maybe one trip through here just to make it known that, hey, we're here and that we're watching. But Captain John Wheeler said although they'd like to have a full-time deputy in Russellville, doing so would be difficult. The problem we have is, is coverage. Trying to cover that many miles with uh, the minimum staffing we have gets difficult at times. If they wanted a full-time deputy down there, we would have to bring a full-time person on. Wheeler said in the past, federal grants could have made that possible, but that money has dried up which means Russellville will have to make other arrangements. Chris Shepard, KRCG 13, Russellville.